welcome friends here at that 1870s homestead but we're off farm today and we're heading into my favorite Amish store I mention it all the time it's Whispering Pines in what town? Fremont. Fremont, Michigan. So over on the west side from where we are. But anytime we're in town and I have an order to pick up, I'll stop in and grab what I need. So not a lot today, but we'll at least show you. I'm just gonna take you guys down every aisle to show you what there is, but I don't shop every aisle. Uncle Wiggly game, that looks cute. Okay, this is my favorite aisle. It's all the bulk seasonings, everything that you need for baking, for cooking. First of many aisles like this, but this is one of my favorites. <laughs> we have so much salt at home. We do. Like always buying more salt. What is it with more salt? Big old bag of sea salt. How much is a big bag of sea salt? So the, well, how many pounds is? 50 pounds for $37. That's a fantastic deal. That's, look, because you're paying $12 for five pounds times 10, that'd be $120 for something this size. Am I doing the math right? Um, I don't know. Okay, I think so. <laughs> no, this is only three pounds. We're getting it. <laughs> I'm looking for olive oil for my daughter. She wanted me to see if it was a good deal. These are metal, though. So if you want regular. There's no big bags of regular chips. Are those big? Okay. That's carrot. Look, a dollar 
84 for cocoa. Some of the prices you really can't beat. Shredded coconut. I gave all mine to Claire the last time she needed it. Gluten-free section. You guys always want to know where I get my big, huge stainless steel bowls. Mine was gifted to me, but I dream of having all of these. How convenient would that be? This one especially, it's so deep. Oh. oh, that's nice. Look at that big casserole carrier. Somebody probably hand me that. That'd be a good gift. Oh, look, they make the, um, the, you know, bags. Oh, like wonder that. bag Wonder thing. bags. They don't feel as thick as our wonder bags. It's different than ours. This is your water bag? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How much are they asking for it now? 190 We got ours for 125 I think. Same store. Yeah. Have rings, lids, jars. Oh, well, they have a lot of the bulk bulk lids right now in stock. If you, these are rare. It's very rare that you find these. Fifteen dollars for five dozen regular, and almost seventeen for the wide mouth. Not a bad deal. All right, my haul is 50 pounds of sugar, just cane sugar. Uh, 50 pounds of salt, sea salt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and then we got 25 pound bag of long rice. A gallon of olive oil, uh, four bags of chocolate chips, two are for me, two are for my daughter-in-law. We have, oh, just scrubbing Ajax, we need that cocoa powder, and I got my big log of Amish butter. Then, for the grandkids, some alphabet noodles, macaroni, two bags, two bags of sweetened coconut, one for me, one for my daughter-in-law. This is the pickled garlic to try to see if we want to can it. That's a fun way to find out if you want to do something is just pick it up and um, try it from a farmer's market or an Amish store. We have three rounds of cheese. Todd grabbed his mint jelly. I don't think that warm. Oh, well, we need to put that cheese in the cooler, honey. Okay. And then, what's in here? Oh, Todd always picks up a few bars of their soap to have at home or have at the cabin. So I think we just need to put the cheese and the butter in the cooler. Sounds but right. for a grand total of, what was your total? Because you bought some of it. $40. So mine was 190, so 230 for that. But we'll be stocked up for a good while. So thanks guys for coming to the Amish store with us. We're gonna get our food in the cooler. Probably make ourselves a little lunch before we head on home from the cabin. Sounds good. 
we'd uh, try to film a little bit more, but we're trying to be respectful of the other customers and the Amish workers yeah. that were there at the time. There's another Amish store nearby. We thought about going today, but I think we're going to pass. It's a more of a discount grocery, but they do have bulk stuff too called Brookside yeah, in so, Nuego. Yeah, it's over towards Nuego. We'll head... We'll head over there next time we're up here at the cabin and show you guys what that place is like.